All right, we're up for this next one, and uh, it is a doozy. As a gauntlet match for the never open weight six man Teddy titles. And it's a gauntlet match, there's going to be a lot of teams. The current champions representing Bullet Club, Bad Luck Fale, Tamatanga, and Tonga Loa slash Tonga Roa, depending where you say it are in the world and how you mix your R's and L's. Just going to say it like that. Uh, versus uh, representing Chaos, Beretta, Tomohiro Ishii, and Toro Yano. Versus, and this might change because of his sexual and racial controversies of late, but Big Mike, Michael Elgin, and War Machine, Hanson and Rowley, former WCWW Tag Team Champions, is also the former IWGB Tag Team Champions as well. They must have lost that recently as well. Versus representing Suzuki Zoon, Suzuki Goon, excuse me, Tai Chi, Takashi Izuka. Again, I apologize if I butchered these names. And Zack Saber Jr. versus Taguchi Japan, Juice Robinson, Ryukse Taguchi, and Togi Makabe. Again, it's a gauntlet, so. It's going to be crazy. Again, Bullet Club recently won the belts. But, uh, again, much like the IWGP, uh, the Never belts have been technically Noah belts, you know? Never technically became its own promotion, you know? It's, uh, it's interesting. It really is. Because, like, you know, the, the Never belts basically were the Young Boy belts. Meaning they were, uh, when I say young boy, I mean the people that are starting in the business in Japan. Not counting gaijins. Uh, you could include them as well. But uh, it was up. It was basically to elevate younger stars and younger wrestlers. And season them uh, for, you know, later on. To the point where Never was basically its own promotion. And had its own Never championship. And also has the tag titles as well, which we're talking about right now. Uh, of course, you know, it was it had its own events, had its own shows. I guess never eventually became part of New Japan. Uh, and it was just basically, I don't know, I don't want to call it developmental. I really don't. You know, because it includes freelancers, it includes people from DDT Pro, uh, Kaintai Jojo, several other places. So, it, I don't know. Um... I, I don't know how to how to stress this for the com more casual common fan here, but basically it's you know as far as the opening concerns you know of course Bella uh, Floyd is a big motherfucker as our war machine, so there's no weight limits most like uh, much like the X division what used to be, but as far as this goes I don't know who would win because the the again. The Bullet Club, Bullet Club members won the belts recently, but can they go all the way? Especially with people like War Machine, people like members of Suzuki Goon, members. I mean, especially people like Ishii, who's a who's a fucking brick house. I'll tell you what, fucking brick shit house. Incredible. Never seen. If you've never seen Ishii before, watch him. He's incredible. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Um. You know, and of course, this is basically a stable war between the four uh, stables here. Bullet Club, Chaos, uh, Suzuki Goon, and Taichi, Taguchi Sun's thing. Uh, as well as War Machine finding a partner. Again, Michael Elgin may not be in the match. Maybe because of several bookings have been destroyed from him because of all that. Um, you know, I'm going to go with Bullet Club. But I would not be surprised if Chaos wins or if uh, Suzuki Goon win. I don't know if Taguchi representatives uh, will win, and War Machine are just going to be fucked because of Michael Elgin. Uh, in a match that basically could have been for the Ring of Honor World Championship, Cody Rhodes, with, of course, his wife Brandy Rhodes, will face Kota Ibushi. Uh, Ibushi, thankfully, is not uh, Tiger Mass W in this match, because that would be a fucking mess. Much like the fucking... War of the Tiger Mask W's was. Uh, of course, SH being Black Tiger W or whatever the fuck. 
Uh, it's just fucking ridiculous. It was a great match because, of course, it was Abushi and ACH, but still. Um, but you know, it's of course a Cody lost the title at Final Battle against Dalton Castle, and it's a real great moment for Castle because honestly, I would never have thought it would have been him uh, to win the title. You know, over the years, it was a few years ago. I don't, I never have said he would have been a world, world champion. But, uh, you know, he's he proven me wrong. He's had great matches with, with uh, Liger. He's had great matches with basically anyone he's been in the ring with. Daniels, Kazarian, Cody even. Uh, so, again, this match is not for the Ring of Honor World title, but it could determine a potential challenger down the road, especially if Ibushi wins. Um, you know, Cody needs his win back, first of all. So I, I, I would say Cody. But I'm going to go with Ibushi because Ibushi has had great matches over the years and Ibushi needs basically needs this more than Cody uh next up we have the killer elite squad Davy Boy Smith Jr the, the son of the late great Davy Boy Smith aka the British Bulldog and Lance Archer uh versus representing Los Embargonables de Japón Evil and Sonata of course for the IWGP heavyweight tag titles. Uh, and these are the traditional IWGP titles before the uh, junior division was introduced several years later. And of course, the Killer Elite Squad has held the belts for a while now. Um, of course, former NWA world champions as well. I don't know because Evil is great and Sonata is good when he wants to be. And I don't really know how they've been as a team. Have they actually done stuff, you know? Have they actually have they actually done stuff? I don't know. I really don't, and I feel bad about that. There's nothing really about it. It's probably just a tag match. Uh, I mean, I, oh, yeah, of course. You know, they won They won the uh, World Tag League. So that, that makes sense, you know, Evil and Sonata. So that makes sense that they would get a title shot. And that obviously is the prize of the World Tag League. Uh, which again, New Japan has several tournaments throughout the year. So if I say tournaments that don't make sense, basically they want, the Evils not want, want a tournament to get this title shot. That makes sense even for anyone to understand. Uh, as far as who wins though, I don't really know. Because if you've ever seen... David Boy Smith Jr., he's, li he's just like his dad. It's incredible. It's incredible to see how he can work in the ring. He's basically just like his dad, except a little shorter. And, and of course, you know, the fans might remember him as David Hart Smith. Uh, so, you know, he's got a decent build. You know, he's a good guy. But he basically works just like his dad. Um, it's incredible. I, I still can't believe it, you know, thinking about it all these years later. But, uh... I'm going to go with the upset. I'm going to go with Evil and Sonata just because how fucking good Evil is. But I'm not surprised if KES uh, retain, but whatever. And with that, we'll come back for the next one. Because it's a lot of matches, like fucking 10 matches here. And a lot of shit to go over.